all right guys uh my name is mike this is dog man homestead welcome to my channel uh today we are going to focus on running the rim joists for the ceiling for the screen in porch uh i made a clip yesterday that froze up i couldn't use it but i explained that instead of using two by sixes for the ceiling joists i'm going to use two by fours because this the roof in this thing it's not going to be any load bearing thing it's going to have the deck right above it so i don't need to waste the extra money uh i, I am going to run it 16 on center rather than 24 on center but the main reason for that is because my metal roofing is 38 inches wide if i was to run them 24 on center then i'd have a big section you know without running purlins which i can't do because i'm limited on my space i'd have that you know big gap where I wouldn't have anywhere and I have to run boards across I'm not gonna do that so 16 on center two by fours I have ordered uh, deck uh, joist or joist hangers for the deck they should be here uh, Friday but in the meantime if I get to that uh, which I'm gonna have to get to that that has to be done before I could start stringing across on the roof otherwise I'm gonna have to be squeezing in between uh, I ain't doing that so anyway I'm kind of getting a late start it's a little toasty today but you know it's summer it's getting ready to be summer it ain't gonna get warmer so I got to get this done uh, faster I get that roof on cooler I will be so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna determine my angle uh, for my roof I've already got them marked out and then I'm gonna get the first rim joist cut and then I'll put the side one on and the front one on and then the other side once I get that one established, I'll know the angles and it'll all go quick. So I'll get busy now. All right, today's going a little better. I got smart, I bought these clamps. So what that allows me to do is get the board in place. I, then I can screw it in, whatever I need to do. What I'm doing here is I'm got these where I need them and I'm gonna scribe in the angle and it'll be the same cut on both ends this will actually be flush with this pole and then another joist will be right all the way across in the front so man them clamps help a lot uh that way and they're very strong anyway i can but that's going to be the you can get an idea now how it's going to be that's that's where the roof goes in and uh that's the angle the roof will be on like i said there ain't going to be a whole lot of room once you get up top here so <laughs> it's a tricky build and i wasn't able to find any ladders that i needed you know i i'm on the lower part now i'm just gonna have to deal with what i got i mean they had one ladder that i might have been able to use but it was very expensive i said to hell with it so we'll deal with what we got i'm very safe on them i'm not going up very high so you know don't worry and uh once these are up i'm gonna go around i'm really gonna beef these things up so if you're looking at them and going those ain't gonna be strong just wait to the end you'll see all right let's, let me get busy all right the uh, first ceiling joist there is in place turned out to be a five degree angle so now that i know that my saw would be on all the rafters that go across i'm gonna put it on well, it's actually like six degrees so i know where it is i also saved the cutoff piece for that angle so they should all match up uh i just got these temporarily on with screws i've got a ton of lag bolts that are we're gonna go in and i did find the right socket for my uh impact drill so that's gonna be much easier and i'm putting washers on them i didn't put any on them but uh and i still got to put the rest of them in this one but uh that's the boring part i won't film that i'll just come back when it's all done right now i'm gonna do this front board get it up uh i'm gonna try to do that in one piece i got enough it's just hard i should be able, with the clamps i already broke one of them clamps first time i used it the handle broke off so that will be going back but i've got two of them i have some other ones i could use all right let's get this front one on and you know we're about seven foot five inches here i'm six one so that's plenty of room hit this end it'll be a little lower but so what all right i'll be back 
It is pretty pleasant today. I mean, it's a little humid, but the sun ain't in my face. All right. Just get that where it needs to go. We'll have to shimmy back and forth a little bit. Today's going a whole lot better than that fiasco of yesterday. didn't allow for the inch and a half overhang over there. But that wall ain't gonna be seen, so I ain't gonna worry about it. is off the line. Yeah, right. You gotta be an easier way. Let me put a cleat up here. That way I can slide it.
all right we got all the ceiling joists up all the way around now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go around all these i'm gonna put lag bolts in i'm gonna finish putting the lag bolts in there in the uh ledger board and uh, i am out of two by six treated so i got lumber coming tomorrow so i have a whole bunch of those coming i've got my treated two by fours coming that i'll use to frame out where the screens go uh i'm also going to frame out a door here as you can see the sidewalk perfect place to put it i really didn't want to put one here uh because you can kind of see it from the road it kind of invites the riffraff if they were looking to break in but this is setting back a little bit from the uh house so and i'm also going to fence this in back here so you're not going to see it but it makes more sense and if i still want now I'm not gonna put a I'm not gonna put a door here. That's just a weird place for it. I want the whole screen look, you know. And uh, this area here, I'm gonna dig this out and I'm gonna uh, make something and fill it with some nice rocks, decorative rocks. And I've got I've got some things coming. You ain't gonna see to the reveal of this thing, uh, but they're pretty cool. And then again, outside there, I'm gonna do some work make it make it nice if it's a really nice day you know early spring go out and sit outside or sit out there at night uh i had somebody ask a question why did you run the rim joists for the deck on the inside of the poles well if you'll google it most building codes call for that and also when you're going to put the decking on you don't have to notch any of the deck boards to go around the post now here on the bottom for the roof i'm going to have to get some uh oh what do you call it man I, I, I can never think of stuff you know the flashing to go around the post so the water doesn't drip inside here and so they actually have a square deal you can order that's already made flashing for this and uh i'll get those after i probably get the roof on and everything they don't uh You'll see what I mean when it comes to that point. So I'm going to spend the rest of the day securing all these. Uh, tomorrow, the lumber will be here. We, the first thing we're going to probably do is get this roof on. Because I want to get, well, I have to I have to put all the joists up for the deck. Otherwise, I'm fighting, getting, like I said before, getting inside all the roofing joists. And I don't want to do that. And I'm waiting on my... Uh, joist hangers which i can still go ahead and hang the joists up and just come back later and put them on in fact that's how you put them on anyway uh i don't think i'm gonna put any joist hangers on this end doesn't not necessary i'll just nail through the board with my nail gun and uh we're it's gonna go pretty quick now uh i, I hope to have all this structure you know the decking on the roof on by the end of next week if the weather holds out uh, I got a mess over here and I've got uh, more more of that T111 coming tomorrow uh, once once this is uh, the roof is on I'm gonna take this tin off this board I'm gonna clean this wall up and I'm gonna go right over the top of this old stuff because it isn't rotted you know it's just add reinforcement to the wall and uh, yeah I'm not gonna leave that tin on there that's coming off uh, that'll give me a nice clean wall to start with I'll probably hang a TV out here at one point. I don't know. I got some ideas. But I think I'm going to be spending uh, a whole lot of time out here. So that's going to be about all I can do today, guys. It's interesting. Uh, where's that sun? Don't want to get y'all in there. That's probably the most interesting of the day, and it wasn't that interesting. But I'm doing the videos every day as I go, so you'll follow along. Uh, if you like my channel, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe, give me a like, give me an unlike. Doesn't matter to me, be honest. All right, guys. Uh, don't know when the lumber's coming tomorrow, but I'll, there's plenty for me to do in the meantime, but it's going to get fun here soon. Happy trails. Mm -hmm.